Folks, welcome back to another Loot of Tomorrow. I am your host, as always, Magnus Deacon. I've got a few announceables that I'm going to show in this video. Some of them are already up for pre-order. Some of them haven't quite made it to pre-order. And there's one special little tidbit at the end. Thanks to Deluxe Baldwin for showing this on his video. And for all you people who are in the Beast Wars, you might want to stick around to the end for that one. However... I'm going to go ahead and say this because apparently some people don't seem to understand the concept. Uh, I've, I've started using Show Z a lot, mainly because of their deposit system. Now, for those of you who don't know, they allow you to pick the bot you want, pay a deposit on it, usually anywhere from $1 to $3, depending on the figure. Then they toss in, you know, once you've put a deposit on it when the full price goes up when you pay that full price they knock that off of the price so basically you're like oh hey I want this figure I'm gonna throw down a couple of bucks and then that comes off of the full price which is what I've done with some of these without further ado let's talk about these figures okay folks here we go with first we have Fans Toys FT-02 Acoustic Wave. Now, he was one that they started to bring out back when Takara came out with their version of Soundwave, which I guess that kind of scared them off, but looking at the difference between this one and the original version that they had planned, I think they were like, nah, scrap it. We could do this way better. So it took a few years, but now they're bringing it out, and I've already got this one paid you know i've got the deposit down it doesn't have a price just yet but that doesn't mean anything really he's he's a darn good looking sound wave figure and i believe i'm gonna replace my sound wave that i've got with this one not that i don't like the takara sound wave but this one looks a whole lot better to me so far now i haven't seen colored pictures yet and I'm not going to pretend that I know what it's going to look, what the final product's going to look like, but it's a gorgeous looking figure just from these black and white, you know, the uncolored pictures that you see. Moving on from that, now this figure I have already paid fully for, and I'm going to pull up just so I can quote the prices properly that I've paid for these. This is Fans Toys Berserk, the FT. 21-ish, I think. Hard to see on on that screen. But, yeah. This is their version of Blitzwing. He is a very nice-looking figure, I have to admit. And I paid for him already. I've already, you know, already paid the price, and he is $137.99 on Show Z. Now, on TF Source, I believe he's about $144. 145 ish somewhere around in there but just looking at him this this is definitely a blitzwing figure that i that i would like to have now i'm not going to get rid of my kfc dick just because of this one however i do i do plan on replacing him because as good as dick looks and you guys have probably seen pictures at the very least He's a brick. He is too dang heavy. He cannot support his own weight. And if I'm going to have a Blitzwing figure, then by all that is unholy, I want him to be able to stand up on his own without falling over. So, But, however, I may actually sell off the figures that I'm replacing with these. I might. Going to have to think about it for a little while. But, still, this figure well worth the price i mean he's he's very nice looking fans toys always does a darn good job with their with their bots and their you know and their vehicle modes speaking of which another one that i plan to replace is 
Fans Toys Dune Rider. Now, I've only got a deposit on him. FT23 Dune Rider. He is Fans Toys version of Beachcomber, of course. Now, I do have the X Transbots Beachcomber, and I've got a friend of mine who may be getting a Christmas gift this year because she likes Beachcomber. Who am I to argue with that? I'm an, I am try to be nice. I'm really an a-hole, but that's neither here nor there. But I, I'm definitely looking forward to this one because he looks nice just from these pictures. And I do plan to... Uh, I'm probably going to get as many fans toys bots as I can. You know, they're not coming out with the whole shebang. You know, they've got some new ones coming out here and there, but it might actually be worth it to replace, you know, some, some of my figures, at least these early ones. Because, let's face it, there's a whole lot more than just <laughs> this many you know, bots. You know, there's some fans' toys past figures I'd love to get a hold of, but I don't count on it. But I do like the look of this guy. He is definitely one who looks like he would be worthwhile in my collection. And speaking of which, another replacement bot that I'm going for. Here we have Fans Toys Hunk FT42. He is their version of Braun. And th if that's the final paint job, it looks gorgeous. Well worth the price of admission. Now, I've got him on deposit as well. His full price hasn't been announced yet, I guess. But I'm not worried about that. I've got the deposit in. When he comes out, he comes out. I'll pay for him and I'll have him. Now, I do have the Bad Cube Brawny. And he's a very nice looking figure, but he's a little chunky boy. And this one actually has more of the brawny without being too stocky look so i plan to replace you know bad cubes brawny with him but yeah like i said i may i may sell off some of these bots to people you know not going to charge an exorbitant amount because you know some people really can't afford it so i'll make them decently priced fairly low price now we're going to move on here here's another fans toys bot now i have one of these already this is ft25 Outrider, their version of Trailbreaker, and I don't know who made these pictures, but it actually has the comparison to the bot and the vehicle modes, but it looks nice, and I've already paid for this one. Uh, like I said on Show Z, I've got it pulled up here. He is $93.99, and I've already paid for him. Very nice looking figure. I've already got uh, MMC's Terra Aegis, which is their version of uh, of Trailbreaker, but this one I do, I'm definitely looking forward to this one because he looks good and maybe his transformation won't be such a pain in the butt as, as Terra Aegis is. I can only hope. We'll find out soon enough. I mean, he's he's already been pre-ordered, so the money's been laid down, and he will be on his way as soon as he is released. Now, that being said. I am a bit of a fanboy of the fans' toys. Not so much so that I won't criticize some of the BS they pull, if at all. But being that they have been really good about customer service, I'm not going to gripe too much because that would be ridiculous. They've treated me fairly. They've treated me great. Why, why not be a fanboy of the fans' toys? Finally, last but not least, here we have... Apparently, now I heard about this guy from Deluxe Baldwin and decided to share him with you guys because I know some of you guys are fans of the, of the Beast Wars. Here is a Transmetal 2 legend style version of Beast Wars Megatron. Now take a good look. Now legend scale, as you all know, those are smaller bots. But just from looking at it, he looks good. This is tw dash. BS01, I think. So that could be Beast something. You know, they, they always use like sort of acronyms or shortened versions of whatever. But he is definitely a good looking piece. Now, I'm not into the Beast Wars. I've already told you guys that a lot. I have no information on this guy. However, it is possible. And I can take a look right quick. I mean, why not? He could be already up for... 
he, he probably could already be up for a deposit at least on show Z. I don't know. I haven't looked. But I don't see him anywhere. But that doesn't mean anything. I mean, I believe this is a fairly recent announcement from one of the conventions. So there it is for all you guys. I think it might I think this might have been announced at Bot Nation, I'm not sure. I don't have all my information. But I'm just here to tell you that it's gonna be a thing. I'm not here to tell you the whims, where's and why's. I'm just here to say, hey, look at this thing that's coming out. So there he is, that is Toy World's BS01, and I don't know exactly what they're gonna call him. But hey, now you now you at least know it's a thing, you know it's coming, you can plan for it and start saving money for your loot. And with that, I believe that's gonna be the end of this particular episode of Loot of Tomorrow. <laughs> Folks, as always, I hope you enjoyed this Loot of Tomorrow, giving you an idea of what's gonna be coming so you can prepare your wallet and your anus for the money that's gonna be spent. So. Here's, here's, here's to the future. Uh, I'm going to try to do more of these if I can. I keep forgetting that Loot of Tomorrow is a thing because you know, I'm more invested in the whole loot, <laughs> loot Crate thing than I am anything else. But That's it. That's it for this episode. Hopefully I'll spot some more go uh, you know, looty goodness coming out. Maybe I can do more of these in the future. I don't know. We'll see. But folks, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you next time.